Hi, everyone. It's August 8, 2021. I want to show you what happened last night. Um, this is a video posted by William Kransky. I did see it on uh, Livestorm's media, so I don't want to um, play it. But there was a lot of flash flooding last night, tornadoes, um, lots of trees down, on Alaska, Wisconsin, you're looking at right now. Um, but I also want to read some comments. The, uh, the flooding is just, it's out of control. So are the tornadoes. I mean, I'm looking at tornadoes now. Uh, and they're videos that are posted by ordinary people. And I, I don't know if they're videos of tornadoes in the past or current, but did the Czech Republic have another tornado? Did Russia have another tornado? Um, it's, it's pretty just intense. So let me read some comments. I'm in Ralston, Nebraska, and what I saw tonight was unreal. The lightning strikes never ended. The flooding happened really fast, although it wasn't raining that hard. Um, Omaha got hit. Omaha, Nebraska. Lincoln, Nebraska, yep. We got some flash flooding. Watched it come in. No way people can actually look at it and think it's natural. Well, <laughs> they do. A few days ago, the air tasted like sulfur in northeast Kansas. Not surprised. Um, I feel it. I'm in Wichita, Kansas. It's not flooded, but I can tell I've been microwaved. If you are sensitive to the electromagnetic frequencies or if they're powerful enough hitting your area, um, you can feel the microwaves. And that's not good because it's affecting your overall um, biology. <clears throat> your, every cell. I mean, we, every cell in your body is being affected by electromagnetic frequencies. We're saturated in them today. Um, I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm telling you the storm was unnatural. The lightning was insane, and you really didn't see a lot of bolts, but just flashes all over the sky. But when you did see actual lightning, it was bright and scary. Yes, there were many flash flood warnings, and even the meteorologists seemed confused. It was more than obvious that the storm was engineered. It's not that I don't believe reports of weather extremes. Not too bad. And we had a nice rain in central Kansas. But the idea they're manipulating isn't right if they will not rain on wildfires. And keep up the disinformation. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Yeah, is this a paid, you know, um, contractor who just leaves comments like this to uh, influence those on social media? Is this a social media influencer not posting anything? Of course, the channel is empty, so we don't know. Could be a real person, um, and a real person who doesn't have much capability of thinking properly. So when you post evidence, when you have a playlist and you mention it in the video, and that person doesn't check out any of the information, this is not, this is a dangerous person. Sorry, Rose, if you're actually a real person. Because she brings about more and more weather modification. My son works as an electric company supervisor. He refuses to believe 
that electromagnetic frequencies can be harmful to human body, to the human body. He also believes Mother Nature causes the fires. Tells me I'm crazy. I believe everything on the internet, yes, of course, that the programmed mind that literally parrots out everything they hear from somebody else. He also believes, oh, I told you, I've read that. If I could persuade him to watch one video, which one would you recommend, please? You know, uh, I'm, I'm not too fond of comments like that. No offense, Judith, not personal. But there are so many out there that are so good. And you really want to, you know, if you can persuade weighed one person to watch one video which one would it be the electromagnetic frequencies that are harmful to the body as well as those electromagnetic frequencies that can cause fires or weather modification so leave a comment below if you know of a really good video um, boy I, I can't think of just one, but um, there are a lot of very good ones out there. Dear Miss Truth, looks like normal weather to me. Flooding is unfortunate, but I'm sure the farmers will not complain. Oh, Brian. And then you look at these channels and you're like trying to figure out, are they 15? years old okay um deciding to be you know willfully ignorant holding on to the ignorance i love my stupidity and i'm going to place it so the world can see it that always strikes me as very odd um but no the farmers are not liking this weather brian because it's bringing about destruction to their farms so that's why I take offense to your comment. I don't have a farm. I don't have that kind of destruction. But it is a major slap in the face to all of the farmers all over the world who are experiencing terrific damage. And you don't seem to care, Brian. And it pisses me off. When you look at all of the damage all over the place, all of the destruction, and you get a comment like that, yeah, you get pissed. All right, so let's see what happened. Well, tornadoes, Grant County, Wisconsin. Um, this is a heartbreaking 11 minute video yeah, all right, I'm going to play some of it. Um, you know, 2011 showed me that the weather modifiers are truly terrorists. They do not care. They have, they literally lack empathy, none. They have no conscience. And Looking at the articles, looking at the videos of all of these farmers who lost their farms in Missouri and the surrounding states, and seeing the face, the expressions on the men who were in their 70s, losing everything that their family had for generations and generations. And they had to sell their property, their uh, house, everything, to FEMA, pennies on a dollar, because the massive flooding, they could not use that land for years afterwards because of the silt. You know, I'm not a farmer, so I don't really understand. So this is what took place. <laughs> Well, hard to see. Um, you can just, you can even see the path of the storm at like, the 
cornfields, just everything down, all the stalk. Um, we just talked to the owners of this farm. They've been here since um, 67 is what the, the women told us. Again, this is, this is like a shed that her and her husband built. Um, and you can just kind of see the extent of damage right now. But, There's their house. That's where they were at when the storm hit. Um, the woman we just talked to said it just popped out of nowhere, that they didn't really have any time to prepare, that they were still trying to shut windows in their house when things hit their property. I'm gonna just kind of keep walking around and showing you guys Again, this is a farm just outside of Bosco City Limits. You can see some of the equipment here. This is in Grant County, um, just outside of Bosco City Limits, um, near the S&M intersection. walking so if you, you can just see the corn over here sorry the service out here is a little spotty as you can imagine there's no electricity on their property um, I was talking again to the homeowner and she told us that thankfully they had a cell phone that was charged so she was able to get in touch with family to let them know that the, she was okay, that her husband was okay. They just had family from out of state visiting. Again, I'm gonna... This way, so again, I'm just kind of walking through the damage. So if you do see like a shot of the ground, it's just cause I'm trying to... All right. Um... She also says in that video that the barn had been there, I think, for like a hundred years, and now it's just completely destroyed. Um, dozens of homes, buildings damaged during Grant County tornado. So yeah, I take offense to the people who just write down, you know, their their own just messed up mind roll clouds how often do we see roll clouds well we see them a lot this is a slideshow of look at that i mean, look at the microwaves in this cloud um for some reason it's a very strange it keeps It goes off and then comes back on. And again, you know, I've said this before. Even if just one person had to suffer these consequences, how do you not have empathy for them? Can you not put yourself in their shoes and think you're them and this is the mess and this is the destruction and do you have the finances to recover from it? The lack of care in our country is really getting to me. It's, it's so scary. Because you know they'll never do anything. They will never do a friggin' thing. All right. Um, so, yeah. Six homes, Grant County. Well, more. Because this was 1248 a.m. And there is new... Um, 
information out, but western Wisconsin experienced flooding amid heavy rainfall. Yeah, this is the kind of heavy rainfall that farmers really like, right? Hail, flash flooding, power outages, Omaha, Nebraska. And, yep, hail. Well, this, this was um, Boscobel, is that how you pronounce it? Wisconsin. So I'm going to get to Omaha in one second. But I want you to watch how these clouds are coming together. They are, with electromagnetic frequencies, very easy to bring the air masses together in opposite directions, which can create whirlwinds or tornadoes. Yes, I have videos on my weather modification playlist. It's a time-lapse video. Don't think that these people are just really, really fast. Look at the air masses. This is where the tornado hit in Wisconsin. Were there more tornadoes? Probably. Look at this. Weather modification by artificial satellite. Check it out. Very detailed pattern on how they can create tornadoes, how they can lessen the intensity, or how they can in make them far more intense. In other words, far more destructive. Being some of the worst damage tonight, emergency management crews report several homes and barns are gone after a tornado touchdown just outside of city limits. Brad Hamilton is in Grant County tonight. He continues our live coverage. Brad, what are you seeing? Yeah, Leah, everything in Grant County right now is pretty quiet. But before, it was far different. We actually got a chance to speak with a woman who I'm going to actually have some video pulled up right now who had her barn completely wiped out. You're, you're going to be seeing images here of what remains of a, of a barn that has been in her family since 1967 when they moved there. Now, she says the barn itself was built in 1910 and when you just drove in to Boscobel you could see all the damage and, I'm, and I, sh I should say I should correct myself just the outskirts of Boscobel it was really like a scene out of a movie it was very surreal you were just seeing parts of barns scattered everywhere and and just people trying to collectively collect themselves and see what remains of their property now this woman um who is probably I'm, I, I'm guessing here but in her 80s she says that she was inside her home with her husband at the time of this and she said that they were not hurt and we saw a little bit of damage to the house but fortunately she said she hadn't heard of any injuries herself from the area now it's, it's a small town where you know everyone's trying to talk together but so far we haven't heard of any injuries in the area where that tornado touched down and, and really just blew away their barn and I hope they can all recover. Now, I really hope that when I was shown this video that you actually heard me because something is wrong with my mic and the mute button either doesn't go off or doesn't, it, forget it. It's just, it ain't right. Yeah, tornado near Boscobel. I'm glad that nobody was hurt. How many can recover? How many farmers are now looking at their destroyed crops? Okay. Omaha, Nebraska. Oh my God, they're gonna slam into the building.
my hunch, homes were flooded and businesses were flooded. But I hope I'm wrong. Um, yeah, this is normal rain. Look at this. Well, in a lot of ways, it is normal now. This is what we get all the time. It rains, it's, it's called extreme weather, and this is happening all over, not just our country, but all over the world. Mexico. La basura, saludos. You notice how an awful lot of people are in survival mode? Yeah. Well, I guess, what was her name, Rose? I guess she believes in climate change. Yeah, climate change brings about this kind of disaster. Right. Oh my God. Well. Yeah, I'll say it again. The people who bring about this kind of disaster are people like Rose, who just refuse to believe it. When I see pictures like this, I am so, all right, I can't, I can't even go there. Glasgow, Scotland. Perfectly normal. London got hit again. There's been more flash flooding in parts of South and East London. This was Battersea earlier. Heavy rain also hit areas around Walthamstow, Tower Bridge, L Lambeth and Merton. The London Fire Brigade have responded to more than 50 related incidents. You know what I've noticed also? Mainstream media has these very short clips or they show you know, like a tree down here or a tree down there. They're not really showing what you see, you know, on independent channels, The you know, just the ordinary people. And it's getting harder and harder to find them. They're not showing the kind of destruction that they could, but they don't. I wonder, is it that the kind of destruction that is taking place will beg questions in people's minds. I don't, at this point, I don't think so. Um.
around 200 people, have been evacuated due to flooding in Turkey's eastern Black Sea region, the Turkish Disaster Management Agency said. The Arhavi River overflowed due to heavy rain, badly affecting the district center and village roads in the Artvin province, said Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, AFAD. Six people trapped in the Arhavi district and nine in the Mergul district were taken to safe areas, the statement added. Health Minister Ferretin Koka said on Twitter that one person who was rescued from the rubble in Arhavi and taken to a hospital was in good condition. Interior Minister Suleiman Soylu and Transport and Infrastructure Minister Adil Karis Melolu also came to see the flood hit region. There are also electricity cuts in the region. The Energy and Natural Resources Ministry reported that 3,045 subscribers were left without electricity due to floods in the neighboring provinces of Artvin and Rice. Turkey. Now, think about the size of Turkey in comparison to the United States. Think about all of the fires that are still ongoing in Turkey. And this area gets hit with the kind of flood that, well, brought about a lot of friggin' destruction. Yes, this should beg questions. And where is this? Sudan, Sudan. Uh, uh, the flooding is tremendous every friggin' day. Check it out. Just put in flash floods or flooding and do a, uh, do a filter of just today or one week and you will see. Thousands of homes have been damaged in Sudan after torrential rains caused heavy flooding with many streets in the capital Khartoum deep in water. Local media reports indicate the heavy rains caused heavy flooding wrecking properties, infrastructure and even crops. Poor drainage system has been blamed for the recent flooding since locals convened to salvage the few items beforehand. Thank God, five or six people from the neighborhood are working, but it's not enough. Now the sewage stream is blocked under the street, and we cannot break the asphalt. We need a big machine to break the asphalt and actually unblock it. Our options are limited. The autumn season is known to us for the rain. People must prepare for the autumn season. The rains come suddenly like a counterattack. At any moment it may rain. The municipality must be prepared at least from last March and be ready in May, for example. Yesterday the weather was clear until 3 o'clock in the morning and then suddenly clouds gathered and it rained. On Thursday, the United Nations Humanitarian Agency OCHA said some 12,000 people in eight of the country's 18 states had been affected. 12,000 affected. Came on suddenly. Um, trains are blocked. Yeah, we are. We are all in this together. Regardless of language and color of skin and belief systems, we're all in this together. We're all getting destroyed. Where is this? Again, Saudi Arabia and Yemen. That's something that you would 
normally see in Saudi Arabia and Yemen. And Taiwan had a bridge collapse. Oh boy, well, China still had more flooding. Iran got hit again. Climate change would not do this. That kind of change would come on incrementally, slowly. Because nothing radical has happened on Earth for these changes to have come about. So you've got to think, hmm, what else could bring this about? Man, technology, weather modification. Look into it. Ciao, guys.